Well, guys, you can see I have the engine apart. And as everyone knows, I completely rebuilt the top end on this. This is for my wife's um, 1988 TRX 250R. It's a Paul Turner um, National Top End. Some um, brand new top end with like not even two hours on it. And I end up pulling the case halves and everything apart. I put brand new um, hot rods uh, lower end kit in it. Has zero run time on that. Hasn't even been started at all or anything. But um, ended up getting the engine all together. And before taking it outside, I did a leak down test on it. And as soon as I got about, you know, one, you're supposed to hold, you know, the, the cylinder is supposed to hold 7 PSI of cylinder pressure inside the cylinder here, not let it in the trans or, you know, out the bottom or into the atmosphere or anything. Um, but like I said, as soon as I got up to about 1 PSI, you know, I could hear it leaking out. So, and once I got up to 7 PSI, the air was coming out as fast as I could put it in there. Well, I pulled, obviously I pulled the engine apart, and I started to take the, um, the right side apart. I was going to pull the crank out, but I'm not going to do that now because I found a problem. I just happened to start looking at the cases, and you can see here, you can see the, the Yama Bond on here. Okay, it's not even been touched by the other case half. What happened was, when I put this gasket on here, before I put anything together, you know, I wanted to stick it on there with Yamabon, so that way the gasket didn't move on me. But when I started putting the gasket on, this side right here, you can see it's not even, I mean, it's not even close to, I mean, look at that. It, it folds up, it pushes down inside of the, the trans side, you know. So what I did was I yama bond on the inside here where you can see it and you can see it here too on the inside of this gasket. You know, obviously some of it some of it stuck and the rest didn't, but I tried to get it the gaskets expand it now, but before it was pretty flat and I just tried to push it over just to get it to stick so that way when I put the, the cases together it didn't move well obviously I guess I didn't let it dry long enough and when I put the cases together it moved on me and pushed it out to right there so that way when I put the cases together as soon as I started you know torquing it down it pushed it in like that right there that's where my air leak was coming from right here so, again, that's OEM Honda gasket. <laughs> it just didn't fit right. So, I'm going to use the hot rods gasket, and I'm going to put this engine back together now, and I will do another leak down test and post the results.